it has been a long journey and you know I had to lose my mother and my younger brother in the same week due to AIDS and tuberculosis and by that time I was 10 years old and it was really a depressing moment for me because I had already lost the people who were close to my heart. My name is Lois Matu. I'm one of the young women who's openly living with HIV and I live in Zimbabwe and I'm a GIFAN uh, speaker. But having to lose a mother it was really a painful thing for me because a mother is someone who's always there for you to motivate you to make sure that everything that you need you have it because for me when I got sick I had to stop school for some months I started to get sick I lost my weight I was coughing so much I had ongoing diarrhea and one of my aunt that I was staying with at that time went with me to the clinic and I was found that I had also had uh, HIV and tuberculosis the challenges that we are mostly talking about are issues around stigma and making sure that adolescent girls and young women are educated and are empowered to, for them, for us to make informed decisions about our own health and making sure that we uh, realize our dreams and hopes for the future. The most important thing in terms of uh, what adolescents and young people can really do in terms of fighting the epidemics, as we all know that HIV and tuberculosis are the most burdening diseases among our age groups and it's high time that we make sure that we are empowered even if we have the passion to really uh, change the world it also takes uh, the world in making sure that we are, our capacity is built. I'm so proud that I am here, I am so confident. I have met um, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I didn't really thought that one day in my life I could actually really make an impact um, in making sure that world leaders like the Prime Minister who's so passionate about adolescent girls and young women well-being, I could actually share my story and make him understand the kind of challenges that we face and for him to really make a, a stand to, to making sure that we have a fully funded global fund. It's not the end of the world. You need to love yourself first so that the world can actually be there to love you.